Hello YouTube land. Uh, it's my first video. Um, not really been all that much into uh, making videos of myself, but um, I wanted to do a quick uh, review of the a few of the kettlebells that I have. Um, but a little bit of backstory about me. I uh, I started kettlebelling about five to six years ago. Uh, when I was on deployment, um, usually, or before I was just really into uh, traditional weightlifting, so you think about the, the, the big three, deadlift, uh, bench press, squat, that was what I was really into, uh, and then just like everyone else, I thought that that uh, black cannonball um, that was sitting in the corner was, you know, just a, a doorstop. Um... And then I saw uh, a buddy of mine on the ship, uh, started uh, seeing him do his uh, CrossFit style workouts, and I'm like, well, I want to try and do something that's a little bit more high intensity. So I uh, started swinging, swinging around. Um, they only had a few kettlebells, and they only went up to uh, 45. So I um, started swinging around the 35. I'm like, what the hell? You know, I'm sitting here squat, uh, deadlifting like 400 pounds and this 35 pound kettlebell is kicking my ass. Uh, so I'm like, this is a good workout. Um, I should start doing this. Um, fast forward, when I get home from deployment, I decide, hey, I wanna uh, start, start doing these a little bit more, uh, get myself in better shape. Uh, so I went out and purchased uh, a few kettlebells right off the bat. Um, so just like most people probably um, didn't want to spend too much, so I went to, you know, Walmart of all places and got one of their, um, a couple of their 35-pound, uh, kettlebells. Um, so, as you all are probably aware, it's not the, the best quality. Um, what I will say about it is that the, the grip is actually pretty, pretty nice. Um, it has a, a nice finish. Um, now, obviously, when you get sweaty, it's gonna, uh, start getting a little slick, so... Uh, highly recommend using uh, chalk for your grip strength. Uh, but you know, as as a starter bell, um, not bad. Uh, until it's pretty crudely made. Uh, some some burrs on the side. Um, can't really tell in the video, but there's some burrs um, on the side. Um, and it looks like the handle. Uh, can't really tell might be welded on but you know it's you, you pay for what you get or you get what you pay for and you know as I can as you can tell it's it's not the highest quality kettlebell but you know for somebody who's just starting out it's it's not bad I'm sure the the weight um, might not be exact but again starting out not too bad um, the next one that I got I, I decided I wanted to get a, um, a kettlebell that's a little bit heavier um, start doing some heavier swings. So I uh, got this one from Dick Sporting Goods. It's a 45 pound. Um, again, very nice finish. Uh, not too many burrs. Um, you can tell there's a seam from where the, the casting was. It's a solid, uh, solid single piece uh, kettlebell. Um, again, highly recommend using chalk with something like this because of the slick finish. Um, you start getting sweaty, it's going to uh, fall out of your hands. Um, so I was good. Uh, as I was, you know, gaining strength, I started doing um, more intense workouts, started uh, doing research, started reading uh, a lot of uh, Pavel's um, books, his, and, and watching his YouTube videos, and, you know, watched Enter the Kettlebell, just like any, any good kettlebeller would do. And, uh... The next one I got was actually this one, my my uh, Tupud. It's a VTX. Uh, I got a 55 pound one along with it. Um, now the the quality with the VTX is not that great. All right, you can tell the handle is welded to the bell. Um, so if you're using something like this, don't recommend using it outside. Uh, you might be able to tell um, 
it's starting to rust a little bit because I have been using it outside. Excuse me, I just got done with workout, so I'm a little sweaty. Um, so, but it, it, it's a good bell for uh, what I use it for. Uh, only going to uh, be really doing workouts uh, inside now because I've got my, my basement a little bit more cleared away. Um, but good tube hood. Uh, the 55, um, I don't know what was going on with the, the quality assurance there, but the 55 pound bell has a lot more uh, rough grip. So if you're doing anything like a snatch or any, uh, anything like that, uh, something that requires a lot more reps, you're going to tear your hand up. Uh, don't, don't care how um, good you are. That, that, that uh, handle is a lot, very sandpaper-like. Um, so after that, I went and got, again, went to uh, Dick's Sporting Goods. I uh, saw that they started selling um, better kettlebells. Uh, didn't really expect them to uh, up their game. Um, but I saw they were selling these uh, Ethos uh, 24 kg um, kettlebells, so I got two of them. Uh, just so I can start doing uh, double kettlebell exercises, you know, front uh, rack squats. Uh, get a little bit heavier in there uh, so I can get a, a pretty good quality workout. Um, so I got two of them. Um, good kettlebells. Um, just like uh, with the, the VTX, the, the, the paint job is not, not that, that good. So you start using it outside, it's going to start rusting. Um, the, uh, sanding on it, again, it's okay. Uh, I find that, uh, I have to wear, uh, some, some hand, uh, wraps in order to do, uh, high rep snatches with these because these, again, did, uh, start to tear up my hands. Um, but there's, there's a, a few burrs. This one's not that, that bad. The other one has a few more burrs on the inside. So it's, it's, um, it's okay. All right. Um, now after that, I, I knew I wanted to, uh, up the quality of the kettlebells that I, I have. So I decided to do a little bit more research. Um, I looked at, uh, kettlebell kings um, and I looked at some of the, the competition ones but I'm uh, not really I think eventually I want, I'll want to get some of the uh, competition bells but uh, I'm, I'm really like, into the, the hard style stuff uh, so I, I wanted to get the best bang for my buck I know kettlebell kings is super high quality um, kettlebells but I didn't want to spend that much and after doing a little bit of research on uh, some other people's videos, I saw that uh, the best bang for your buck was the uh, Rogue Fitness kettlebells. And I know they don't really make them in America anymore. I know they started uh, after, you know, COVID came over. Uh, but I, I got this uh, a few years ago. Uh, this is my uh, 36 kg uh, Rogue kettlebell. It's gotten a lot of use. Um, it also... Because it's a powder coat, the um, finish is starting to crack some, and it's starting to get a, a, a little bit of, of rust on it, if you can tell. Um, but it, it's a good bell. Uh, solid construction, uh, good casting. The, it feels good in the hands. Um, don't really need to use uh, chalk all that much. Um, but if I'm doing... Uh, some some snatches with this which I've started doing because I'm trying to up my strength um, I, I do find that the the chalk helps uh, with the quality of snatch because you know my I guess my grip strength isn't as strong as it needs to be but it's a good good quality uh, kettlebell and I, I've been very happy with it just recently uh, purchased the um, an 88 pound um, 40 kg uh, for those of you that are really into the metric system uh, kettlebell I'm waiting for it to get here I ordered it on uh, July 4th and um, you know I think because of 
COVID, a lot of stuff has been pushed back, and I know uh, Rogue has had a, a hell of a time trying to get um, get kettlebells in so they can you know send them out. Uh, but it's on its way. Um, so supposedly it should be here on Monday. Uh, I can do a uh, unboxing uh, later. Uh, again, this is my first uh, video. Um, please like and subscribe. Uh, look forward to uh, doing more videos. Thanks. Bye.